lost a pioneer in the television weather business. Her name was June Bacon Bercy, and she was the first African-American woman to become an on-air meteorologist. She passed away back in July at the age of 90, but she left behind a legacy of overcoming barriers that can inspire us all. Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman of KSN in Wichita, Kansas, shares her incredible story. I'm Joan Bacon Bercy, meteorologist from the National Weather Service. She had a dream that became a legacy. She always loved the atmosphere. We grew up with weather balloons. June Bacon Bercy would leave her home in Wichita to earn her master's degree at UCLA. My mom was very focused on making sure we knew our roots. Her daughter says her heritage was just as important as the future she was paving for meteorologists and women of color. From her perspective, she had the skills and the, and the clear path from a, an, an intellectual uh, curiosity to uh, pursue a path that um, had not um, been paid before. Already cold air is still barreling down in the midsection of our country. She'd become the first woman, an African American, to be awarded the American Meteorological Society Seal of Approval for Excellence in Television Weather Casting. Weekend Weather with June Bacon Bercy bears the seal of approval of the American Meteorological Society. Her career included working at NOAA, the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission and the National Weather Service, all at a time when men greatly outweighed women in scientific fields. She was obviously the women, only women in most of her classes. She faced, I, I think, more uh, issues with her gender than her race. When she was called a weather girl, she, she would smile and, and say how, uh, you know, how proud she was to you know, be a meteorologist. Advancing the science of meteorology was a big goal of June's, particularly with women. That's what drew her to a network game show, winning $64,000. That was her vision of being able to start a scholarship for women in meteorology leaving a legacy that paved the way for so many to follow. In Wichita, Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman for Hidden History. This is a crazy story. June Bacon Bercy catching her first big break in TV meteorology in 1971. What happened? Well, the weather forecaster at her station was arrested for robbing a bank. <laughs> That was the start of what became a three decades long career in meteorology. In New York, I'm Al Roker. Hidden History is sponsored by UPMC Hammett and the Greater Erie Community Action Committee.